Let's suck, ladies and suckers. Let me make sure I'm in them. It's TBE365. I'm back with week 12 of NFL Pick'em. And we gotta get angry. We gotta get hyped. Eagles took the meanest L of 2016. The whole entire season last week against Seattle. We got... Get over here. Get over here, boy. Smack, boy. And that's not acceptable. That's not acceptable. So we got to step it up this week, 12, against the freaking cheesehead macaroni and cheese Packers, boy. We got to step it up, man. Let's go. Missed the Thanksgiving games. I know this is late. I was out of town for Thanksgiving all the way up in Seattle. The, t how the irony. The irony. I was in Seattle. Uh, so I was not rocking no Eagle gear at all because people would have been like, <laughs> just roasting me like, <laughs> Because they're all you see out there in Seattle, fans. I would have done gotten turkey roasted out there. Shout out to Thanksgiving. First game, Chargers and Texans. Texans are low-key in that division. Like, you, everybody thinks of the Colts when they think of that division, but the Texans are just creeping up. No JJ. Uh, their offense, I thought the, I did not think they are that good. They're all, everybody always talks trash about the Texans, but the wins speak for themselves. Their first place at the division. I'm pretty sure after the Colts loss, I'm pretty sure the first place. Yeah, they are six and four. Colts five and six. I'm gonna take the Texans and win that over the Chargers because the Chargers right now, I don't see why they're playing. They have no, they have no hope in that division. Say goodbye, like Sol Luminati says. Shout out to my boy, man. Uh, they have no hope in that division. That division is just too powerful. So I'm gonna take the Texans. 49ers and Dolphins. Take the Dolphins, man. The 49ers. Forget Chip Kelly. Forget everything he stands for. I didn't want to pick the 49ers to lose every game throughout because forget Chip Kelly. Rams and Saints. Rams have no offense. Saints have a great offense. Decent defense. Rams have a great defense and absolutely a donut of an offense. So I'm going to pick the Saints to win one. Giants and Browns. Browns can get one for me, though. I'm not going to pick you guys probably the whole season, but Terrell probably know. A TP. Shout out to my boy, but... Giants, I don't think you guys win that game, but Browns, you guys get one. Can you make me feel stupid one week? Like, do it against, like, the best team. I want you guys to just go all out, freaking blood, sweat, and tears. Leave it all on the field. Cardinals and Falcons. Falcons coming off a of bye week. Cardinals struggling. Julio nurse, got to nurse's injuries. You have to get, he's going to come back healthy, ready to go, ready to beat these freaking cards. So, I'm going to pick the Falcons in that one. The Cardinals, they should have been doing a lot better. People were picking them as a Super Bowl team. Now, they're nowhere to be found. They may not even make the playoffs. Bengals and Ravens. Bengals are not looking great. Ravens, they're looking all right. It took a tough loss to the uh, Cowboys, but this is a great bounce back game against the division foe that is not looking good. I don't know what's wrong with the Bengals, man. I don't know, man. I'll, it'll be messed up to be. It'll be sad, I mean, to be a Bengal fan. Bills and Jaguars, easily the Bills. Jaguars turning over the ball and then not getting turnovers. Not a formula to win football games. Bills are going to win that one. Come on, Tyrod. Come on, Sean McCoy. Especially Sean McCoy. You're my fantasy team. Eat, boy. Do your thing, man. Titans and Bears. They, they ain't no Bears, boy. They Cubs. They, meow, meow. I don't know what they are, but Titans only 5-6? and six? They're not playing like a 5-6 and six team for what I see. For what I see. They look like they're a lot better than a 5-6 team. I don't know. I never seems like I see them take L's. I always see them taking W's, but they low-key taking them L's because they're 5-6, and six and they should be in that. They should be leading that division. But I have no idea why the tech that should be their division. Five and six, they still have a chance, but I don't know if they're getting up. I don't know how many games they have left against the Texans, but they need to take over that division. That's the division right now. The Colts are nowhere to be found. Andrew Luck is gone. All they have is the Texans. Jaguars. We already know about the Jaguars. They need to take over that division. I'm gonna pick the Titans and win that one. Seahawks and Buccaneers. Buccaneers had a nice win against the Chiefs. I'm not even gonna lie. I did not expect that. Chiefs were not ready of I mean obviously. I don't know what happened. Come on, get the Bucks, guys. The Bucks, uh, whatever though. Seahawks are gonna win that game. The Seahawks are like one of the best teams, or I think they think of the NFC teams. You got the Cowboys and Seahawks. I think they're one of the best teams in the NFC. Patriots and Jets. Patriots are gonna win that one. Jets, I don't know what's going on with them. I think two of those three wins were against the Browns and the uh, the Bears. So I mean, three and seven. Those that's not really a strong three wins at all either. Four, oh, I would pick the Patriots down one off. I said that, but Panthers and Raiders. I like the Panthers so much as a team, but I'm gonna go with the hype beast obvious pick, and I'm gonna pick the Raiders in this one, man. The Raiders are looking real nice. They're taking over that AFC by storm. It sucks they have to do it. I wish they would have done this when the division wasn't so strong. Because if they mess up just a little bit, they can have a great record and not even make the playoffs. Because right now they're eight and three. The Chiefs and Broncos are both seven and three. 
they're right behind him. So if they make any screw up or anything bad thing happen, they can have this great season and have it go down the drain and not make a playoff. So I wish they would have just completely murdered and their whole division was trash. But right now they got to keep playing to this high level until the season is over and then maybe see what happens in the playoffs. Chiefs and Broncos, though, this is that second place battle right now. And even first place, because if this team wins and the Raiders get upset by the Panthers, they're tied, or they're, they'll be tied for first. Especially if the Chiefs win, because the Chiefs already beat the Raiders. If the Chiefs win, the Raiders lose, they're tied for first, just like that. This whole great season that the Raiders are having could just be like on in jeopardy, just like that. But I'm going to pick the Broncos that went on, when that one. The Chiefs lost against the. The Buccaneers, I can't pick them after that. No, Ray, uh, Packers and Eagles, five and five versus four and six. Okay, now this video may go a little bit over, but Eagles, we need to beat these teams. We need to beat the teams on our level. Oh, this year the Packers are on our level. We need to beat them right now. I understand to losing the teams that are not on our level or higher than our level, like the Seahawks and teams like that. But this team, we need to beat them. So we hopefully we catch the, that W. I think we are. I think we could beat the Packers. EDP needs to stop stressing. Stop putting that freaking. All that bad energy in this Eagle fandom. We need to come together. We need to beat this Packer team. Because right now we're on the same level. And I think we need to beat them down. To show them that we are on a better level. Because I think we are. I think we're right now we're having a better season than the Packers. Even though it's by one game. I think we're having a better season. But it's TV 365 I'll see you guys next week. Peace.